A teacher from Hopkins High School is up for a prestigious award this weekend. In this week's school spotlight, Delane Cleveland introduces us to Fatuma Ali, who has a unique relationship with her students. Read chapter 13. Is that what you're going to ask me? Of your ancestors. This may look like your typical high school English class. If you agree, you're in the agree camp. If you disagree, you're over there. There's a little class discussion. He feels bad for Hassan and he feels like a bad person because he betrayed his friend. Because of how young he was. Followed by some feedback from the teacher. He doesn't feel like maybe he's being a little too harsh on himself, being that he was like 11 when this happened. But Fatuma Ali isn't just your typical English teacher. Who are just opening up your book. She's one of the 11 finalists for Minnesota's Teacher of the Year Award. I'm still kind of a little bit in shock, like not fully cognizant of it, but also it's been such a difficult last couple of years in the teaching field. Um, so having this as kind of like a bright spot has been, it's been incredible. Incredible could be one word to describe the relationship she has with her students. Love, love, love her. She is an advocate for them. She listens to them. Um, she connects with them both inside and outside of the classroom. One way she connects is by creating a curriculum the students care about. I've been intentional about teaching content that reflects my students and like as much of my students as possible. Creating classes when I found that there were gaps, like I created two classes, two courses here in the English department that had a lot of popularity and a lot of student interest. She also creates a relaxing classroom atmosphere. Strongly. After okay. all, it's not often that you'll see classrooms with beanbag chairs where kids can relax and hang out. All right, so we have about 20 pages to read today. So Whether she wins the award remains to be seen, but either way, mm -hmm. she wants the best for her students. My biggest goal is that they never stop seeking knowledge, that they're always looking for answers on their own and are not waiting for somebody else to tell them what they should and shouldn't be learning. At Hopkins High School, Blaine Cleveland, CCX News. Find more local news stories at ccxmedia.org and follow us on social media.